So our Exchange server is running quite happily. But one of the problems you get straight away is that of spam email. And I've always, always thought it was a bit of an oversight in Microsoft's behalf not to enable anti-spam measures. Here in the organizational configuration, hub transport area, there's no tabs that allow us to do this. But they did include some commandlets to help us. So what we'll do is we will head across to the management shell. And this will take a few seconds to get up and going. And I might as well close down the management console while I'm waiting because it'll need a refresh anyway. And eventually I get a prompt up. Now the first thing we have to do is rather a complicated command. Uh, just make sure we spell it right here. Everything should go fine. We do set hyphen transport server minus identity a single quote the one you get below the at symbol the name of your server which in my case is hot then another single quote then the long one and it's not case sensitive I tend to use capitals just to make sure I spelt it right we say anti spam agents an S. That's why I check it. Enable space dollar sign true. No error messages, so I'm happy with that. Then we will do a second command restart hyphen service. Single quote again, Microsoft Exchange. I'm having a good night for typing. Transport and a single quote again. And this will stop the surface and restart it. We're going to sort of turn it off and back on again. And sorry, I've just spotted a spelling mistake. Transport. We may get a message waiting for it to finish stopping. And then we may get a, minute, a message saying it's starting again. And finally, it has started. It took quite a while to stop that time round. Now we can quite close that window and bring up the management console we had before. And again, it'll remind me my license has almost expired. And if I go back to where I was, organizational configuration, hub transport, I now have an anti spam tab there. And we can block by words and emails. So what we can do is we can look at content filtering and we can put customized words in there and phrases that we want to block. So we'll put Viagra, add that in, and any emails with the word Viagra in it will instantly get blocked. We can have exceptions if certain people wish to receive emails with those words in them, and we will apply that and OK it. Now we could create 
a list of IPs uh, to block. But there are block list providers that will provide us with so-called blacklists or allow lists, white lists. And one of these we will add. So we'll add one. And this is a company called Spam House. And if we go to their website, we will see what they provide to us. And there's a website. They do various spam block lists, SBL, exploit block lists, policy block lists, and things like this. But the one that we're particularly interested in is Zen, which includes all of them in one fell swoop. And the URL is given there, zen.spamhouse.org. And I can go back to my virtualized machine and paste that in there. And that provides us with a blacklist provider. And that will stop those. The other thing you might want to filter on is the sender. If someone is continuously sending spam to your organization, you could add them to the list of blocked emails. Or you may wish to just block the domain, including any subdomains, automatically. So what we'll do is we'll block rgu.ac.uk and any emails from them will be automatically blocked for us. So we can apply that. Now that might be a little bit drastic. So in the action tab, you can completely reject the message or you can stamp the message with the word spam, but continue to process the email. It'll alert your users that it's a possible spam person that's sending it. So that gives us a working setup for the complete organization and that's where anti-spam can be done at. You have an option in the server configuration, a transport option there. And on the anti-spam tab there, you can enable and disable the allow and block lists, but only for this one server out there. Not something I would do. Normally, if you block some spam, you block it at organizational level.